हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस सो एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द सीनियर क्लासेस ओके इट विल हेल्प यू इन योर अपकमिंग क्लासेस एज वेल सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपरली सो what do you mean by active and what do you mean by passive okay so let we discuss the meaning of the active voice is when the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action the verb used is in it is called active voice jo aapka subject jab doer hota hai एक्शन का मतलब कोई काम करने के लिए आपका सब्जेक्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबल है तो आप जो वर्ब यूज करेंगे वो वर्ब जो यूज की है वो एक्टिव वॉइस में होगी और जब आपका सब्जेक्ट रिसीवर होता है या एक्शन का रिसिप्टेंट होता है आपका सब्जेक्ट डूअर ना होके सिर्फ रिसीवर हो जाता है द वर्ब उस केस में जो यूज करते हैं वो पैसिव वॉइस में यूज की जाती है और वो सेंटेंस आपके पैसी सेंटेंसेस कहलाते हैं लेट वी टेक द एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड इन अ बेटर वे लाइक आई वुड लाइक टू टेक अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सपोज आई टुक एग्जाम्पल द बॉय ब्रॉक द गिलास लेट मी टेल यू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेंटेंस subject plus verb plus object okay so this is the structure of the sentence but when we are going to change it into a passive voice we are just exchanging the position of object with subject and subject with object so first rule is just change the position of subject with object and object with subject so next if we are talking about the passive voice sentence your subject will be the gilas okay now it becomes your subject for the passive voice okay we are leaving the place of verb we don't know about the verb till the time okay but what the next is object now the object will be the boy i'm giving a space for one more word okay i will uh, tell you later on what which word i'm going to use here okay so the word here the boy theek hai now what will be come here verb according to you you are going to use this verb okay which verb same no the answer is no the verb will be change into a participle means third form of the break break broke broken so verb will be broken okay but what else we put here if your sentence is in simple present past then you have to use was were to make it in a passive voice so according to our subject what we have to use was or were was the glass is there singular is there so you have to use a helping verb singular okay now what we come we what we put in this sentence here here we have to use by the one of the most important word to recognize the passive okay If you are not able to recognize either it's a passive voice or active voice, just you have to recognize the by word there. Okay, then second step to recognize the passive is past participle form of the verb. I took the example of a simple past tense that is an active voice, and you just change in passive. Okay. what if the sentence of active is in present simple present it means if i write the same sentence in simple present like the boy 
breaks breaks the glass okay what will be the rule to change it in passive so it's very simple the boy changes its position with object and the object with subject it means the glass become your subject for passive voice okay then i'm leaving again this position vacant okay then after that here by word as i told you here okay so by to recognize passive voice plus what next will be there the boy as it is the boy so which verb will become here so i told you that for the passive voice you always put the participial form of the verb okay so break changes to be broken again what i have to put here here you are watching that this form of the verb is simple past so it's going to be changed in simple continuous that is of present continuous okay so present continuous you have to use is a mar so according to your subject you are going to use is so it becomes your passive voice so sentence will be the glass is broken by the boy we have discussed about the uh, simple present tense and simple past tense how to convert active voice into passive voice but what about the present continuous tense and past continuous tense okay for this the basic rule generally we use is a is a mark plus verb plus ing in case of present continuous but how we can change it into the passive voice just you have to add one word that after is is after is you have to use being okay the word being i put a pressure and the third form of verb that is past participle form of the verb then it becomes your passive voice and the other rules are same like uh, after the verb you have to use by and your doer becomes your receptor receptor become your doer okay the rest will be same but the basics that are going to be changed we have discussed here that only what about the past continuous tense in the same that you have done in the present continuous was changes to be was okay disturbing before disturbing you have to put being only and disturbed till the time we have discussed just about the simple present tense and simple past tense how we can convert these two types into passive voice but there are other forms of tenses as well how to change that so is disturbing the general rule for the present continuous tense is is plus verb plus ing but how can we change it in the passive voice the rule is just you have to use is after that being then third form of the verb it becomes your passive voice rest of rules are the same that your doer become receptor receptor become doer but you just have to change the sentence by adding being same with was disturbing that is past continuous tense in case of past continuous tense you have to use was being disturbed means after was you have to use being and third form of the verb so this is all about your active to passive how to change active to passive of simple present present continuous and simple past past continuous okay so we will discuss about the back exercise as well practice we have to go through just exercise put a against sentence that are active and put p against those in the passive voice okay aapko just kya karna hai a aapne unke aage lagana hai jo active voice sentences hain and p unke aage lagayenge jo passive voice sentences hain 
so i told you the rule how to recognize the active voice or the passive voice so here the man drove the car is this a active or a passive it's a active because there is no by word and there is no third form of the verb now next is the plants were watered by the old lady the plant were watered by the old lady as i told you that when you get by and third form of the verb it means that sentence is passive voice and generally we use ver and verb with ing but here we use ver with the third form of the verb it means this sentence is a passive voice he threw the paper in the dustbin he threw the paper in the dustbin is a active voice because there is no by word and no third form of the verb next is the telephone wires have been cut by him see it's a passive voice because first is by and with have you just use the third form but cut remains always same have demands been it means you have to use have been is there so have been cutting should be there but here you use passive voice because there is by he showed a beautiful painting active because there is only the second form of the verb no by is there and no third form of verb okay the cake was eaten by the girl passive because first word by is there second third form is used with was generally we use is am are with the verb when we use with was were okay so this is a practice for you that we have done try more examples so that you can understand in a better way till then bye bye we will do the next parts in the next video bye bye stay safe